I was interested in this project mainly because of its involvement of an ACMA Pueblo member. There's some companies that will just, you know, use designs without, you know, permission. I felt respected that they asked for an input of a tribal member and for me to, you know, do the design work and give my interpretation of what these designs mean to me. Pottery is a living source of information which is replicated by the design on a piece. The designs itself tell a story and have a meaning behind each application of a design. This isn't just a 2D interaction that people can physically walk around the space. The space as well as the object changes the interaction that people can have with the artwork. The symbols on the pots, they each you know, symbolize a prayer for rain in some way. These vessels you know, are used for storing the water, carrying the water, and also for storage, um, for storing seeds. So they have like multiple purposes. I wanted to include, you know, the more freeform design, something with the orange and yellow pigments, the parrot, which you see on a lot of the pottery. I also wanted to include um, a fine line design. Um, Acma pottery is really well known for fine lines, so I wanted to incorporate that. And I just wanted to look at each time frame and kind of pick which one best re represented that like decade. The moment. I think I realized that it all came together was when we finally put some of Michelle's actual artwork on the pot. It's awesome to see it jump from the 2D screen onto the 3D object. Our ancestors fought so hard to keep our language and traditions alive along with the art. It is up to us and the new generation to be able to do that. It is a big storybook. It is a collection of history that is being depicted on a particular piece. And each design has a particular meaning which cultivates many, many things and that happen within a community.